Good morning. In this last month's newsletter, we talked about Chagas disease, and we talked about all the elements from the testing the dogs to the treatment of the dogs, and it's a long process. And once you've invested all that money, it's just as important to keep the Chagas beetles out of your barn. What we have found works really well is number one, a pyrethroid that is a quick acting and will kill the bugs, but not quick acting enough to keep them out of your barns completely. The pyrethroid, which is a cypermethrin, it's called Demon. You can go online to doityourownpestcontrol.com and you can buy this and it's the least expensive that we've been able to find. This is the pyrethroid. Just as important is the repellent. And it doesn't matter what you use, you can use cutter, you can use off. As long as it has 25% deep or more, it will work fine. But this right here, this is the, the keys to the kingdom that keeps the Chagas beetles out of your barn and gives your pyrethroid plenty of time to do what it's supposed to do and that's kill the bugs. So this is how we do it and it's very simple and I get questions on this all the time. How do you apply it to your kennel? It's a two gallon um, spray jug. We already have it uh, with the mix rate which is 1.75 ounces per gallon and all we do is we walk behind the kennel making sure the wind is blowing that way. You do not want to get this on you because it's a pretty powerful chemical. You want to spray right behind their kennels but not in their kennels. You have to make sure the dog bowls, waters, and feed are away from uh, this pyrethroid because it can make a dog sick. And We just want to do a nice band Getting good coverage. And we'll go all the way around all 37 in our kennels and make sure that we have this done daily. This is something you can't skip if you want to protect your dogs. The second thing we do is we take the repel, DEET, and we spray the back of the kennels. It's as simple as that. And to show you how important this one product alone is, before we started using off, it was not uncommon to come in our kennels and find one to two dozen dead or close to dead Chagas beetles every day. Since we started using DEET, I can count maybe two dozen Chagas beetles that we have found, and where we have found them is on the outside of the kennels, which uh, tells me that they don't like the DEET, they're staying away from the DEET, and it gives our pyrethroid plenty of time to, uh, to do its thing. Now, if you look at this wall, we will once a week with this uh, uh, pyrethroid take and spray the whole wall. Chagas beetles are a flying bug. They like to come in, fly in and land. But if we do that once a week, the, uh, the demon is long lasting enough that we can get away with doing that one time a week. Unfortunately, every day when we're spraying down kennels, we're getting this part of our barn wet and uh, it doesn't do well when it gets wet. For those of you that have questions, feel free to give me a call. I know this is a process that keeps uh, some people up at night worrying about their dogs trying to keep Chagas out of their barns. Uh, this right here, the DEET, and that right there, the, the bug killer, it'll give you some peace of mind. It'll let you sleep soundly at night. And I can tell you after one year of using it, it works. It's like fishing with dynamite. Thanks. Appreciate your time.